Hey, Libra. Cleansing the decks of any and all negative energy. Only beings in the Paris water slide may sell this reading and give me advice. So this reading now in Yeshua's name. Amen and amen. Oh, and so it is. Therefore, let it be written. Therefore, let it be done. Am I communicating my needs? Your needs matter. Libra, I want you to write that down and put it on your fridge. I want you to put it on your bathroom mirror. I want you to put it where you can see it every day for the next month. And I want you to write it in all caps. Your needs matter. Your grandma she said, use red lipstick on the mirror. <laughs> she said, right, your needs matter. You matter, Libra. You're important. How you feel freaking matters. And these people who are acting like it doesn't, they got a rude awakening, baby. They got a rude awakening. What are you needing right now that you haven't communicated? What are you afraid of? Is it possible that what you are fearing is not true? Journal these answers. What are my needs? Am I saying no and yes enough based on my desires? Am I telling the full truth? Do I believe that my needs matter? Do I share them with others? Do I ask for what I want? When communicating my needs, what am I resisting and with whom? What do I need in order to feel safe enough to express my needs? Libra, do you even know what your needs are? I feel like I got some lost Libras out there. Your grandma wants you to come back to the realization, okay? She said that your fears aren't real. She said what you're fearing, it isn't true. Whatever you have thought up in your head in this grand scheme of this illusion that you've painted in your mind, your grandma says it's not true. It's not true. Your needs matter. Figure out what they are, Libra. Besides the basic needs of, you know, roof over your head, food, water, and all that. I'm talking about emotional needs. Do you need love? Do you need to feel loved? Do you need the truth? Do you need honesty? Do you need people with re that will respect you? Do you need people that will show you respect? Do you need people that honor you? 333 on the clock as I say that. Understand what you need and then get it. Libra and cut off anybody who isn't giving it am I focused on what I want most one reason so few of us achieve what we truly want is that we're, we're never direct we never direct our focus we never concentrate our power most people dabble their way here or dabble over there or dabble it through life never deciding to master anything in particular what you focus on grows, baby. Today, ask yourself, is my life a reflection of my values? Or do I need to make some adjustments? Prioritize in all caps. Your grandma says, Li Libra, you're not focused on what you need most. You're not focused on what you want. Grandma says you're all over the place. She said you need to get rooted and grounded. 
get organized and prioritize. And your needs matter. And don't be, don't be hanging around people who act like they don't. You hear me? Yeah, end any relationship with anyone who acts like your needs are not important and your needs don't matter. End it. Sever it. Cut it. And don't look back, Libra. And connect with people who care about who you are, who care about what you want, who care about where you're focused, who care about your needs who respect your needs, Libra. And thank Abba for creating this safe space for you, for helping you create this safe space or your higher power. Confidence, divine confidence is completely different from the bravado of the ego. Oh man, you guys can really tell the difference between people walking in the bravado of the ego and people walking in divine confidence. See, people walking in the, the bravado of the ego, they pump themselves up so big they can barely fit their heads through the door, bro. I mean, boy, do they ever, are they ever, they glorify themselves like nobody's business. But people walking in divine consciousness, they have a calm delight. And they give all the glory to their higher power. You understand? Walk in divine confidence. Please fill me with your confidence, O oh love. Grant me courage I never knew I had. So your grandma wants you to put your confidence in the right place. In Abba, Libra. Forgiveness, healing comes from acceptance. Help me, dear Lord, to fully accept this, what is, knowing that this, is, this alone will open me to the new. So your grandma wants you to forgive yourself, Libra, for where you've been up until this moment, for all your past mistakes. She says you're holding yourself accountable for way too much crap. She says let it go. It's in the past. You can't get it back. Forgive yourself and start focusing on what you need to focus on. All right? And walk in confidence, <laughs> like Chisiano says um, from the elective, walk in God's confidence, okay? Not in the, the uh, fronting of the ego. You can tell, you can, you can tell who's fronting and who's real. It's very simple. You will know them by their fruit okay yeah these enemies of yours are, are defeated they're defeated foes these people who are trying to come up against you Libra are already defeated you hear me it's already done in the spirit realm so don't even stress over them yeah you're suffering too much you're allowing your you're suffering because you think that your enemies are winning but they're not they're a defeated foe you've already won baby you gotta lift that chin up and know where you come from. Remember your roots. Your grandma says she didn't raise you like that. That's what I heard. Yeah, she, she said you're gonna make your enemies dumbfounded. Bro, this card has come out in almost every one of the grandma readings. <laughs> They're gonna be baffled, bro. Where your grandma's taking you, bro, every single one of your enemies are gonna be dumbfounded <laughs> cuz see what they don't understand is every time they do magic on you you take their gifts and you become stronger they lose any gift that they thought they had yeah if they if they did magic on you oh that was a big no no especially if you're one of the 144 yeah, any gifts they thought they had, they've been already been transmuted to you. 
And now they're just running in circles like little rat wheel races. Speaking big, pompous, you know, thinking they got it all together, but they don't. They got nothing together. And they're in for very rude awakening. And they're going to be dumbfounded at how defeated they actually are. And they're going to be the ones suffering for all the magic that they did to you, Libra. That's for somebody out there. That's what my, your grandma came through. They already are suffering, your grandma said. Your grandma said they're suffering right now. But they're, they're going to be suffering a whole lot worse, okay? <laughs> yeah, she said, look into your hidden depths. There's so much more to you than what you're showing the world, Libra. Stop hiding, she said. Grow like a wildflower. Be real and raw and powerful. And be patient with yourself while you're waiting on your fruit to ripen. Okay? Doesn't happen overnight, baby. It's, it happens by season. That's why I say so good seed every season. Because, baby, harvest time is night. It's coming. And we will all reap what we sow. Some 30, some 60. Some a hundred and some seventy times seven.